Man, oh man, when you got it, you got it. And let me tell you, I definitely got it. Hey, what you got, bed bugs? You better watch out. Look, those little suckers are nasty. In Nam, the bed bugs were so bad that you'd wake up on the floor because, hey, they'd toss you off in the middle of the night. There's so many things wrong with that statement, sir. I'm talking about having it, the gift, the talent. I am the duck call builder extraordinaire. Oh, good grief. Here we go again. I'm just saying. You ever wonder what perfection sounds like? It sounds a lot like this. It's like poetry for the ears, isn't it? Oh, come on. Hey, I'm just trying to teach our new intern, John Luke over there, a thing or two about duck calling. Gentlemen. Hello, Willie. Party pooper alert. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, that's funny. What's going on in here? Let me guess. Working hard to complete that order for the big boss. Nah. Shocker. Actually, I was just showing the ropes to young John Luke over here since he wants to work with us someday. Hey, I'm all about that. But you know, it doesn't take just a strong work ethic. In order to succeed here, you have to be a well-rounded Robertson inside and out. Well, mostly out. As in, outside. That and an awesome beard. You'll get there. Just listen to us. That's right. Look at Cousin Bo over there. He was in your shoes not too long ago. Wanted a summer job and whatnot. That's right. I was exactly where you were at. Didn't know anything. Hey, what's changed? It wasn't easy. He had to bust his tail, learn everything he could about being a full-blown Robertson. Not listen to Jace. And eventually, he earned his stripes. Now look at him. Bam. Now he gets to be as miserable as the rest of us working under this tyrant dictator. I wish you would actually work. Anyway, CB, help out old John Luke here if he has any questions. Definitely. You need help? I got answers. Tell us, CB. What's it like working amongst the duck call community's most elite? Si, stop picking your nose with that. You're going to hurt yourself again. Hey, when you got a booger way up there, you need to dislodge it somehow, or it'll dam up your nostril like a beaver dam. And hey, eventually, you'll never breathe again. That can't possibly be true. I think I got it. But where'd it go? I lost it. Phil? Hello, Phil. Hey, Si. You got something in your beard there. Looks like you got a beard booger going on there. Hey, found it. What are you doing up here, Phil? Well, your mama sent me up here to get y'all's help. We're getting ready for the big dinner Sunday, and I could use some assistance from you boys in hunting and whatnot. Ducks, squirrels, frogs, you name it. If you kill it, we grill it. Know what I'm saying? Hey, you don't have to ask me twice. I'm in. Although I'm usually opposed to skipping out on work, I actually think this could be a good opportunity for John Luke to learn the ropes. If you want to work up here one day, you're going to need to be a well-rounded Robertson, starting today. Hey, the more the mayor is what I always say. And the more food we get, the more happy everyone's going to be. Let's do this. John Luke, you can come with me. You need to learn Duck Calling 101 taught by none other than the best and most handsome duck caller in the business. Yours truly. Glad to see you haven't lost your modesty, Jace. All right, see you boys over there. What about our order? We got to finish it. We'll do that later. The commander has spoken. Yeah, Willie, we'll do it later. Hey, John Luke, I'm going to come with you guys. I can give you advice and help out however I can. Si, you have something in your beard. No. Yeah. No. Yes, you do. No. Oh, wait. You're right. Another boogie. The dam has been broken, boys. They just keep coming. Si, that's nasty. Hey! Those beavers look 
mad. Looks like Sai caught a big one. Sai, do you catch another log? This is it. John Luke, let's get in the blind. Beardless nephew, welcome to the duck blind. I know what you're thinking. You've been to a duck blind before. Big deal. There's a difference this time around. Today, my friend, you will be learning the sweet, sweet art of the duck swoon. All done with this little guy. Now, let me give you a brief demonstration of how to operate a duck call properly. Because if there's one thing I know, is that there is definitely a right way to blow one, and there is definitely a wrong way to blow one. Let me show you the difference. Here's what a good call sounds like. You got it? File that in the what to do box. Now here's what you do not want to do. Hear the difference? A good call brings more ducks. A bad call brings fewer ducks. We want to call in more ducks. CB, you've got a pretty mean call. Why don't you help old John Luke out a bit? So a call is made up of a series of notes. The key to a good call is hitting the right note at the right time. Here, I'll show you. Now you give it a try, John Luke. That's good. See if you can do a couple more feed calls. Try not to miss any notes. Good. That's some fine calling. Now you've learned the feed call. You can use this call to get ducks that are right above you to land near your decoys. Hey, there's some ducks coming in. See if you can call them and we'll take it from there. Quack, quack. I think I hear them. Get ready, Jace. Ain't gonna find a better shot than Jace. Well, except for Phil, maybe. Tell you what, John Luke, I'll let you do our calls for the rest of this hunt. Why don't you help Jace out and call ducks in for him to shoot? Look, more ducks over there. Get ready, Jace. There's another flock over there. Get ready, Jace.
Nice! All right, all right, all right. 